back to my channel. Y'all already know what's happening. She Care She TV. And we are here with the weekend tea whip. Of course, moi. Listen, it is the Met Gala. So you know your girl had to come in theme. I'm looking together. I'm looking cute. All of that. But yeah, the Met Gala. That's a whole nother story. We're going to get into that. Y'all can go watch that video on what I like, what I didn't like. Because it is crazy. But we're going to get into this tea. With what happened over the weekend. Because I've been doing a dig it, okay? We're going to start with my girl Summer Walker and Little Meach. Now, we all know Lil Meech got that little uh, Lamborghini, okay, that blue Lamborghini with the blue lining. I think it's black with the blue lining. Okay, now, Summer, we can see your refl his reflection in the stereo system. So, if y'all look right here, you can see his reflection in the stereo system somewhere over here. If this uh, Gossip City thing wasn't blocking it, you can definitely see Lil Meech's phone, this little pink iPhone right here in the mirror so you could tell they've been hanging out this was like the start of last week's tea like okay are they dating what are they doing nobody knew what was going on but you know what your girl was like no we know what's going on something's happening we don't know now things started getting spicy so we see this video right here let me go ahead and play this video okay so you see little Meach right there little Meach right here and then who else would that be who was who else would that be back just to make sure she was there you know so I didn't like that I feel like Lil Meech be real mean in person because I met him see I met him a few times but he's been like really mean in person so I don't know but what I do know is that they've been hanging out and everybody was like are they what what's going on because it's looking real skeptic she got the hoodie on it was just weird then if y'all know Jay Versace and um some of our friends, Jay is a, a YouTube influencer, influencer, I won't say to say YouTube, but he's an influencer, and he basically changed his profile picture to Summer when she was walking in the club with Little Me, she, cha she changed her profile picture to that, and if you look, you see... Lil Meech on FaceTime with Summer. Now, we don't know if she's trolling. I think she was trolling by actually posting that, like, oh, I'm dumb, like, a, oh, y'all caught me. But it's like, girl, we know you with Lil Meechie, okay? Um, and Lil Meech, I think he's only like 22, and she's 26, so the four year difference, I don't think it's that bad. But she do got three kids, so I don't know. But they say Lil Meech love the kids, so we're gonna see. Today, it's like they made their big appearance, okay? Summer Walker got the BMF chain on around her neck. Like, okay, I'm holding down for my mans or whatever. And everybody's like, ooh, Summer, what's going on? And then some other girl, I guess she popped up later with the with the, with the the chain on too. Hold on, y'all. And then they did a Instagram takeover, I guess. Like, Summer is on Little Meech's Instagram doing filters with the lips. And it's giving real cute. It's giving cute. So she said it's a takeover. And then they got these little pictures right here doing filters with the mustaches and stuff. But they give they give cute vibes. Definitely chilling. I don't think he really trying to be nobody's big daddy or stepdaddy. I think he's just here for a good time and a long time. I don't know. If he is here for a long time, that is good for her. Cause listen, everybody. You know, listen, I can do a little some walk of one too, but I'm just saying girl, girls need love too, and that's just what it is. That's what it is. Listen, we touched on this last week. Let him call a raven having his beat back to back, back to back. It's like, all right, where, where does it stop? Okay, where, where does it stop? It didn't stop. Supposedly, call a raven. And Lotta was in the club fighting. Now, I got the video right here that everybody assumed TMZ put out. But ideally, I don't think TMZ really put that out. But it started off with someone tweeting, Cord, Lorraine, and Lotto just got it, just got it on. Okay. They just got it on, really? So, of course, everybody wants to see a video. Then they say her kid was fighting. Let's see. <laughs> They're saying that's Corlea Ray right there. So they're saying that's Corlea Ray right there. I don't know. I don't think it's Corlea Ray because it's just weird. Um, very, very, very weird. But later that night, they said there was no rumors that was happening because Corlea, uh, Lotto was in the club actually uh, performing. Okay. 
So this is Lotto in the club actually doing an appearance the night that they say they allegedly fought. So she's put it on the floor. Okay, she put it on the floor. So I doubt, I doubt that they were actually fighting. I don't believe that they were fighting. I really, really don't believe they were fighting. And I think that's just that. Okay, that's that's just that. Alrighty. But then later on, Koi. She calls out her haters, of course, her haters. So let's see what she had to say to the haters. Shit, every fucking day. Ooh. Every day it's a hater on my dick. Ooh. A new bitch got my name on her mouth. Ooh. Somebody got something weird. But the best thing that got me here is my team. That's a lot. And of course, number one, God. And you can't do it without them, period. So if you a selfish bitch and you want to go on some, I'm going to do it myself. I'm gonna do it myself. So speaking of gang. Okay. So listen, Koi said, we not about to keep talking about me every day in the media. Like, honestly, I don't think people are talking about her to be honest. I don't. I really don't. I love Koi. Um, I love her music, but I don't think people are really talking about her. But it keeps everybody relevant if you say, hey, you've been talking about me, even though you ain't been talking about me, and that's just that. But I do think that Koi, again, should continue to focus on her fame, her TikTok, um, you know, music. Go. I don't think it's TikTok music. I just say, I think that she should focus on her, her uh, growth when it comes to the, the the different areas that she maneuvers in TikTok and hip hop. Like she just performed with Busta Rhymes. He was getting low with her. And I just think that people need to honor that and respect that. I don't think people respect that enough uh, from her. And then I guess she did a little, a little preview of her new song. I'm not a like I'm a huge fan of like her style and like what she got going on but the music I'm like we're gonna keep that but music lovers I do love music but it's a little fast it's a little fast for me anywho um I think the weekend was just getting spicy until this clip came about Kim Kardashian and Kourtney Kardashian are at a few is is it still Kardashian or is it Baker now Kourtney Baker because she's married to Travis Barker sorry Barker I think it's Barker um Kim and Courtney have been feuding supposedly. This clip came out uh, on Hulu, and we're gonna just get right into it. Kim looking delusional. Yeah. So basically, Kim was doing another publicity stunt. I said, don't do and why at her wedding? And everybody is not happy. It's, not. it's who she is to her core. Mm. Exactly. I think a lot has uh, went down in that one clip. That was just a piece of what we're gonna see in the new season of keeping up with the, well, the Kardashians. It's not even keeping up with the Kardashians anymore. It's the Kardashians season three on Hulu. And um, I don't know, I always felt like Courtney was like different from all of them. She's very much confident in her beauty standards and who she is and what she, you know, what she represents. And I just think that a lot of them lost sense of that. But if she really did use her wedding as a publicity stunt, I would be mad too. I would be mad too. And then they said Kim may have been shading Courtney. She may have been shading Courtney. Kim went ahead and posted this photo, beautiful photo. Uh, looks like a rock star wedding between her friends uh, Chris Appleton and Luca, Luca's Gage. Um, and she was the affiliate for the the officiate for the wedding. Originally Kim posted, there's no one I would have officiated a rock and roll Vegas wedding for other than Chris Appleton one and Luca Gage 
and she wrote that according to the cut, I don't know what the cut is to be honest, but according to that, that was the original post and then she went back and changed the post. I was so honored to be able to officiate a wedding in Vegas. I couldn't be happier for both of, for both of you, for you both, Chris Appleton and Lucas Gage. Listen, I love Kim, I love Courtney, I love the Kardashians. Listen, stop fighting, we love you. You know, the black community's gonna probably accept you eventually one day, I don't know. But I do love their fashion. Like, listen, North, she was killing it tonight on the carpet at the Met Gala. And honestly, if y'all wanna know my Met Gala tea, y'all can go ahead and see my reel for that, and y'all go ahead and see my little, hopefully if I do do a video, but I will do a reel for that, and you'll see that on Instagram. But I came ready and prepared, and that's the weekend tea with your girl. Listen, y'all already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, Chic TV, and I'm out, baby. Bye. Oh, time out. And side note, I just wanna say, F -E and K, they about to kill it on this season of Power. Now, I'm just saying, if y'all haven't noticed, we already know Effie came about to get d d d d like that, okay? Because who else you know is paying tuition for that shorty? That ain't really that shorty. And once Lauren finds out about Effie and uh, our boy, homeboy Tariq, then we already know there's going to be a problem. I don't know. I, I'm just here to give y'all a weekend tea. And that, what I do know is Effie and Kane going to get together. And that's just what's going to happen. Okay, I'm out for real, for real. Bye.